Good evening, my star citizens. Captain Malcolm Reynolds here. You know, I finally figured out what was going on with the Mustang. So, I took it for a spin. Um, I didn't record it, of course. I just took it out. You know, it was like, ooh, Mustang, right? And I took it out for a spin and flew around Port Alisar, you know, trying to figure out what I was going to say for this recording. And I didn't know how to get out of it. It was like, you know, of course, a new ship. I didn't really take that much time. I was just kind of like, ooh, you know, look at what it can do kind of thing. And <laughs> I, instead of getting out of the ship normal after I landed, I ejected myself and of course the, you know, it blew the canopy and shot me up 50 feet above the station anyway every time because the game's still in its testing phase every single time I went to go load this ship back up the canopy was blown and it was like well that's great you know I couldn't even get in the ship I couldn't fly it around I've been wanting to show it off you know I've been wanting to do it you know one of these uh, my little recordings that I do um by the way, disclaimer, I am a horrible pilot. Uh, also, I do not work for Robert Space Industries. I just really have been digging this game. Earlier when I was logged in, before I started, before I hit the record button, um, you should have seen all these different ships here at Port Alisar. I mean, from every different... I mean, you know, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed, really. I don't know all of the names to all the ships yet in this game. You know, I'm just like, ooh, the big one, or ooh, the aircraft carrier looking one, or, you know, um, I'm just barely learning, you know, just now learning the names to the ships that, uh, that I have, you know, um, and, uh, so, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm learning, I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm loving, um, last time I was this hyped up about a game was 20 years ago for a game called uh, EverQuest 2. Um, my dog, Freya, she's already eaten the treat out of the ball that my wife set up for her, so I could do this recording, and now she's wanting to bark at me. I apologize. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, get... Uh, let me load up. Oh, she says I can put this treat in here. Maybe I can buy myself a few more minutes. Truth be told, I'm not sorry that my dog's barking. I love my dogs dearly, and they can bark till all freezes so over for all I care. That's just me. Um, anyway, there, she can have that. All right, now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the Mustang up onto the uh, platform so we can, a uh, landing platform so we can. Your check ship has been delivered out. to the following landing pad. All right, CO2, usually it's over here, excellent. Love it, love it, love it. Another thing that I'm embarrassed to admit is I hardly ever look at the chat. I need to start looking at the different, the, the chat window up there in the upper left-hand corner. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm sure this game's so much better when you're, you know, flying around with a crew and everything. So, oh! I also learned what that noise was. Um, apparently, when you get a crime status and when you become a criminal and everything, and you try to approach Port Alisar, Port Alisar has automated defense systems that will automatically open fire on you. So that's what that noise is that I hear all the time when I log in. I'm like, how is anyone shooting so close to the station? It's not. It's the station shooting at someone else. Anyway, here is the CO Mustang Alpha in all its glory. I, this ship is pretty. I was. I didn't know what to expect with this ship at first. It's one of the starter. Uh, this ver or the Mustang is one of the, uh, or it's, I guess the scaled down version, uh, stripped down version of it is one of the starter packages. Like of course the Aurora in a previous video that I did. Um, of course, look at those nice guns right there. Uh, so anyway, real quickly to get back to that one story, see the canopy right here, all right? That whole thing plus that seat that you can see inside was gone because, you know, when I grabbed that eject button or the eject handle, which you can actually see right there, um, right there, if you're looking at where the cursor's at, uh, when I hit that, when I grabbed that handle, the whole canopy blew, the seat blew. So every time I went to go load this ship here up, 
at Port Alisar, I could not get into the ship and it was getting kind of frustrating. But here, re but just moments ago, I was able to load it up and there it is. Um, I want to show everyone something real quick. This is pretty cool. Check this out. This has a rear cargo bay. Now, I have yet to use this cargo bay. I do not know how it works. Uh, let me get my lights on it. Um, I mean, it's kind of odd, right? I mean, that doesn't open up any more than that. So I'm assuming you set the cargo, the box right there on top, maybe? I really don't know. Um, I'm actually kind of eager to do a delivery mission with the ship and see exactly where the uh, cargo uh, cargo goes. Um, let's go ahead and we'll close that back up. And we'll go ahead and get into the Mustang and we'll take her for a spin around Port Alisar here. Let's look at, uh, I just, you know, I just love looking at the gas giant. It's just, oh, there we go. There you go. See that ship there? That is one of the constellations. I don't know. I can't tell you which version it is. There. Look, all the same far off. There's the Aquila, the one we have. Uh, there's the Aquila, the one that we have. And then, of course, there's the Andromeda, which is... Uh, our, the Aquila is the exploration version. The uh, Andromeda is more of a... It has, a, it's more of, I guess, a military-esque version. Um, that one looks kind of green. I mean, they have an emerald out. There's my dog barking again. Her name's Freya. She says hi, everyone. Um, anyway, we'll... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to... I'm going to do a video about the Connie. I have yet to actually fully assemble a crew. I mean... My wife and I could get into our Connie, I guess, and we could, you know, take it out and show you. Okay, so you see the guns? You see the blasters firing right there, right? So that's the station. Now you can hear it, too. That's the station firing at a uh, bad guy. So, yeah, um, someone that's got a crime sense. All right, back to the Mustang. Uh, you see she's got a folded wing configuration. Um, Ford dual cannons, right? Uh with back tail fins um wait till you see what this thing looks like when you take off in it it's pretty cool um and we'll even go check out and see what the sh uh what the station is shooting at and we're just going to go straight into it and by entering the pilot seat oh dang it my light is on i need to turn my light off oh I need to get out of the ship before I do that. Okay. Um, Alright. Exit ship. I need to turn off my light real quick. I won't be able to turn off my light and I need to see the controls. I know. The game is, is, is like the rest of us, it's learning. So as the as we get better, guess what? The game is actually going to get better. All right, let's get back in there. Okay, okay there we go. All right, let's get in there. Yeah. Um, like the Anvil Hawk, you'll notice that this is definitely one of those uh, one-man fighters, right? Light fighters, you know. I think that's what they call it. Starter freight freight ships. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's get our flight ready. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. All right. All right. We'll take off. Oh, look at that. Now, those wings were not there two seconds ago. Interesting. Let's turn everything off again. Let's check that out. Engine system. Or maybe they were there and maybe we just walked underneath it. I don't, oh, no, those are the tail fins, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, those are the tail wings. They sure do look longer when you go uh, third person be like that, don't they? Wow, they do look longer. All right. Anyway, we're going to take off. All right. Now watch this. Let's raise the landing gear. Oh yeah, check that out. Sweet. I was kind of digging it earlier. I really was. I really like the look of it too. 
the style. Looks kind of nice. Oh, look, it looks like there's several bad guys down there. That's what the, uh, as I'm learning the game, the green triangles are good guys, and the orange triangles are not good guys. <laughs> so, yeah. But we're not really here for them right now. We might go take a look at them here in a second. We're really checking out the, uh, the listing itself. Take a look from the inside. There's the bad guy. Huh. Someone in, in an Aurora. Interesting. I guess I should really be paying attention to the chat they might be telling us what's going on I just get lost in the just the visual aesthetics of this game and it's just so beautiful and I just like I said I really like Port Alisar and I really like you know I don't know I like everything about this this game it's just it's awesome and problem is I really don't need to fall in love with any of these single fighter ships because um, <laughs> hello, we have a Constellation Aquila and a uh, Freelancer Dur sitting in the hangar, you know, so, which when I do the video on the Aquila, we will learn that it comes with a couple of nice, uh, neat accessories, like the Rover, which, you know, if you're watching the channel, if you're subscribed and Contact. got the bell icon, uh, you'll know, you'll see that uh, I did a video on the Rover video or two ago. Wow, look at these guys. Looks like there's a couple bad guys out here. That's crazy. Alright, so I guess we're going to find a landing spot. Oh, I'm going to... Whoa! Hello! Did you see that? That was close. Alright, we're going to do... Uh... I think we're going to do... Uh, we're going to land. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Let's go to Daymark. What do you think? Trap selected. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. The problem is I don't know where Damar is. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Quantum travel engaged. Nice. Wow, that was a quick trip, wasn't it? Quantum travel complete. Ooh. Alright, mining facility is always a good time. Um, it was suggested in the Facebook group that I go to 141. Not exactly sure why, but that's where I always go. Um, Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. All right. You know what I'll do? I'll end up turning that back on so I can see how far away I am from the place. Might have a better targeting system or a radar system for stuff like this, but for now, this works really well for me. So we're going to go ahead and put the pedal to the metal. 
this ship landed. Looks like we're coming in on the uh, what would be the night time of Daymar. Ooh, look at that. Wow, let's let's go to Oh, look at that. Definitely your fighter esque or fighter ship looking kind of you know, I guess with a very small small trunk in the back. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. That was fast. As we get closer, we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the forward lights. I'm also glad that I learned that. Um, I was going through my folder the other day, and I noticed that I had a ton of videos that I never actually, you know, I don't know if I'm going to put them on the channel or not. Uh, they're a little bit older, um, some around the time that the others were done. But, um... I come to all these different places during the nighttime, and I don't know how to, you know, in these videos, I don't know how to turn on the headlights. <laughs> so, I, uh, you know, something else I've learned you know, while I've been playing the game, uh, which we'll go ahead and uh, we'll turn on right now, as a matter of fact. Nice. And of course, I'm not here for any mission. I'm actually here to uh, spawn the rover and to do a, a size comparison um, do a size comparison, side by side comparison with the rover to the uh... Proximity alert. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, there we go. Nice. Landing gear engaged. Proximity alert. Deck. Alright. How do we, uh, we need to turn engines off? Engine systems disabled. All right, excellent. We're going to go ahead and leave it on. Let's go ahead and we'll open pilot canopy. We'll go ahead and exit the ship. Awesome sauce. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Just the thought they put into that. Look at that. Closes up all nice and neat. She does look pretty tight in landing mode, that's for sure. All right, let's get the rover out here. We'll do a size comparison just to show what, you know, how big. I like to see that kind of stuff. I don't know if anyone else does, but it's always cool for me. All right, this is going to be cool. Um, yep, and we'll get the... Where is it? There's the buggy. Where's my Ugh. Hey. Hush. She's off. Wants to play. Alright, where is the rover? There it is. Right there. Retrieve. Alright. Excellent. My wife's in here playing tug of war with her. All right, landing pad. All right, cool. There we go. Boom. There it is. Awesome. All right. They are really going to town. All right, so there's the Mustang parked. Of course, where it's nighttime. Oh, look at that scenery. Oh, and here's the rover, which, once again, I want to thank all the boys and girls on the Facebook Star Citizen group um, that helped me find this. Um, I, you know, I was getting kind of like, hey, where's my, uh, where's my rover, you know? I like it. It looks a lot like the, uh, the aliens uh, truck to me, the, the aliens little drop. The, the rig that they have. But anyway, all right, let's turn this sucker on. Um, I always forget how stuff works. <laughs> Engage systems. Here we go. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Nice. So, check that out. That's a pretty good, 
I mean, heck, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That's awesome. I'm going to send that to my buddy. Look at that. Like, seriously. I love it. I love it. Sorry if I get quiet. I, I probably get quiet a lot when I play. Um, I just, oh, look. Look at that. We turned the headlights on. Huh. That's great. You know, I should have done it this way, though. Yeah. Let's take that screenshot. What do you think? Maybe that one. I don't know. All right. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Uh, the next one we're going to do. Um, so, got the Mustang down. We just did the Aurora. Uh, heck, we moved right through that list pretty quick, aren't we? Um, oh, we're going to do the Great Cat Buggy next. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. All right. Until next time. Thanks again.